Winnie. Hello, B. How are you guys doing today? How's everybody else doing today? Winnie, in case you didn't know this, you're not the only one watching this video. All the students at Grandpa's school are being invited to watch as well. So you might be watching this with a lot of people, a lot of new friends. Hi everybody. So Winnie is four, Beatrice is one year old, and they are my grandchildren. And um, when I thought about making these videos, I thought about why not present them for not just the kids at Columbia Middle School, but for my grandchildren as well. Uh, they are, like all of us, stuck at home. As you can imagine, they live in New Jersey, and um, I haven't been able to visit with them for about a month. And uh, it's been a while, and it's only been less than a week for visits with my middle school children at Columbia Middle School, and yet it seems like that's a very long time as well. It's uh, difficult getting used to that. Um, but I did tell all the students yesterday in the email that if they did their best and worked hard today and tried to learn in a new way, that I also would try to learn something new. And so here we are in Mr. Geiger's garage for the first time ever, um, kind of sharing a little bit of my life with your children in a very different way. I am exhausted. I got up before dark, before light today, went to work in the dark and emptied out my office into my car and brought it all home. And I'm still setting things up so that I can feel like I'm at work. I saw dozens of dozen and dozens of students in classrooms today online and I did see unbelievable work. I was so impressed with everyone's work. I saw videos from some classes. Teachers were com commenting on perfect attendance and commenting on preparation. Every single sixth grade band member had their instrument today, which is unbelievable. It's a new middle school record. So congratulations to the music students who are figuring this out just as well as all the other students are. I got some great emails from parents about today, and I was so pleased to get those. And at the end of the day, it was a real nice message on my phone from Dr. Varley, who said just how wonderful it all went, and she's getting good messages at all. Now, it's only day one. We know that some things still have to get better, and we know that some things won't be quite as exciting as they were today, but we are going to keep on keeping on and making all this work and I promise you students that this will work and we'll figure it out and one day we will get back together at school. So this is my shop. I'm showing you this view because it's fairly well organized. What's in front of me is not so much organized but I'm going to show that to you eventually and I thought since Winnie loves to come here and she loves to paint things and build things, we make bird houses and things like that and she just loves to mix the paint and and get busy. So I thought this would be a great place to begin my chats and see how you guys are all doing. I'm always in here working on something and so I'm happy to share while I'm in here, share with you. I was thinking that this might be an awesome place to have guests. Now, unfortunately, we can't have live guests yet, um, but I was thinking that maybe a teacher uh, or who knows, maybe a student eventually, but to begin with teachers, would uh, phone in and say hello, and I can talk to them about what I'm doing, and we could all find out how they're doing in their virtual life online. Thought that might be a lot of fun. I'm not gonna make today's video very long, but um, I did wanna share a quick story with you. Beatrice, who as I said before, is just uh, beyond one year old, about uh, three months past her first birthday, took her first step uh, about Oh, I don't know, a couple days ago, but not quite what I would call walking, not quite what I would say successfully getting across the floor. But it's going to happen soon, I'm sure of it. So students, here's what I was proposing. I'm going to send you a link 
to uh, Google Form, and if I can, is it here? Did I learn how to put a link into this video? Maybe it's right there, um, and you will be able to click on that link or find it on your email. And uh, I have a contest that I set up to see when Beatrice walks for the first day, her first time ever going completely across the floor, what day it happens, what hour it happens, and who sees it happen. And if you're lucky enough to guess the correct time that this all happens, Mrs. Geiger and I are going to put together a care package and we will send you some snacks so that while you're working at home, uh, you can enjoy those. And I just thought that would be a little bit of fun to make a game out of Beatrice taking her first steps. So like I said, I am learning here uh, along with all of you and I'm going to learn some new things and maybe who knows as we move through this, maybe you'll learn something from me from the shop in Mr. Geiger's garage. So hold on one second, like you have a choice, be right back. Say hi. Come on. Come here. Come on. Can you come up? Oh, there you are. This is Burke, and he is my shop dog, and he is a family dog. He used to live in Tennessee, and now he lives with us. But uh, he is also kind of like Winnie, not afraid to get sawdust under his nails. And so I wanted to introduce you to him as well. So that's it for today. Tomorrow's day two, and I know it will uh, be another day of school just as good as we can possibly make it. And I know your students will make me just as proud as they possibly can. So I guess that's it for now. I have one more thing I wanted to share with you. And matter of fact, I dedicate this to you guys. All right, work hard and I will see you soon. Ready, Bert? Let's go.